Welcome to Hood Champion Boxing and Sports. In boxing, you find a way to win or you find a way to lose. So the baseless myth that Deontay Wilder cannot KO Usyk bewilders me. There is a baseless myth that Deontay Wilder cannot KO Usyk. People, hold your horses. Stop with the nonsense. Deontay Wilder can't KO Usyk? Well, I'll tell you what. Hey, man, I haven't been on the earth that long. My opinion shouldn't matter. Most of you guys in here, age range between like 20 to like 57. Some would say we, we haven't been around that long. You haven't been around that long to, to, to give an opinion that, to be, that will be respected in regards to Wilder being able to defeat Usyk. But damn, when Bob Arum goes on record and says, Usyk, who is Bob Arum's friend, and we know Bob Arum loves Lomachenko, and Bob Arum loves the Ukrainian people, Viva Ukraine, as the way Don King would say it. If Bob Arum goes on to say that about guys he likes, you gotta, you gotta pay attention. Now, what I don't understand, right? Styles make fights. Just because Deontay Wilder, whatever happened, those three fights with Tyson Fury, just because he didn't get across the finish line, right? And get the wins, okay? All of a sudden, Deontay Wilder is still not that monster puncher that he was before meeting Fury. You guys are acting like he didn't drop Fury. Needs to stop, man. Even Bob, look, Bob Arum. We all know there's a lot of things that have been said about Bob Arum. A lot of things that are said about him now. Oh, Bob Arum doesn't like to pay his fighters. Bob Arum is only biased to the European fighters, white American fighters, a handful of Hispanic fighters. Bob Arum doesn't know how to manage black fighters. Bob Arum discriminates, right? These are things that have been said about Bob Arum. Some good, some bad. Some things are soft on the ears, other things kind of hard to hear when you talk about discrimination and race and shit like that. Like those things are sensitive topics, right? But these are things that have been said about Bob. But Bob's coming out saying something about Deontay Wilder, which is positive. He said, Deont he, this, these are Bob, Bob Arum's words. And I would, I'm gonna give him the benefit of the doubt. This man's 80 plus years old. He's seen it all. Bob Arum doesn't have time to play game. He'll tell you. Bob Arum will cuss out a reporter or cuss out anybody. Bob Arum doesn't care. He's beyond caring. He doesn't care. That, that old man will say what the hell's on his mind. He just doesn't give a, give a crap. But when he says Deontay Wilder is underrated, he has great boxing ability and outstanding power. And you know why Bob Arum said that? Not because what I, in some of the comment sections, right? The clowns out there saying, oh, Bob Arum, Bob Arum's complimenting Deontay Wilder because Bob Arum's trying to escape the lawsuit from Terrence Crawford because Bob Arum is really a guy who discriminates against the black man and Bob Arum is a racist. So now he's trying to say something nice about Deontay Wilder, who's a black man. That way, he'll look good in the, in the judge's eyes. Yo, shut up, man. Bob Arum's saying that. You know why? Because he really feels Tyson Fury is the best heavyweight of this era. And he knows what Tyson Fury had to get through to get those wins against Deontay Wilder. So don't come at me with the racial crap, right? That... It annoys me when I read some of these comments. Like, really, the, the people who are commenting in it got to be between 8 and 13 years old. Like, there's no intelligence. You, you know, they're, they're not adding to the conversation. They're just throwing bullshit out there. And plenty of shit starts to stink. You know, add to the conversation. Listen, you know, bubble up the dialogue. Let, let, I want to hear, we want to hear what you have to say. But just stop with the, stop with the, the those easy kill type arguments. It's... Yo, let's put some intelligence, some thought behind it. And if you don't want to think, well, just look at the three fights Wilder had with Fury. Very tough fights for Fury. Now, what Bob Arum did say, which kind of coincides with what a, some of the people were saying about those who feel Deontay Wilder doesn't stand a chance, he did say, 
Deontay Wilder will probably be losing every second of the fight. But he said, just like with Tyson Fury, you just don't know what's going to happen when he lands. Because at some point, he's going to land. And he said, and you saw what happened. He, Tyson Fury barely escaped in those fights. This is Bob Arum saying this. I'm like, damn, he's giving Deontay Wilder credit. And then he goes on to say with uh, Yusick. He's like, Yusick will probably be, probably be winning the fight. He's, and then he said this. And this is why I respect what he said. Because he didn't try to downplay it. He didn't try to take away from Wilder to, to, to kind of build up Yusick. He didn't try to take away from Yusick to try to build up and exaggerate Wilder. He framed it perfectly, the way I would, right? He was like, unlike Tyson Fury, who was able to, who was winning the fight hands down and got hit with a couple big shots and went down but got up. He was like, Yusick, he doesn't see Yusick being, being able to take one. He said, like, maybe he can get through with one. He's like, but he can't take two of those big shots from Wilder and continue to fight. He's like, it only takes one. He's like, but he definitely can't afford to take two. He was like, and then over the course of the fight, Deontay Wilder is going to land that right hand at some point, and it's going to be more than one. And he just doesn't think Yusick can take it because Yusick isn't big enough. Now, there was someone else who posted something in my comments saying, how is Wilder going to stop Yusick? Yusick's a man who's never been knocked down. Hold your horses. Don't take it to the stupid. I may get some things wrong sometimes, you know, so I understand how, how that happens. But Yusick's never been knocked down as a professional fighter. Out of here, man. Yusick's been knocked down a couple of times, you know, even in the Super 6 series. You know, he got knocked down. They didn't call him knocked down, but he was knocked down. But he's been legitimately knocked down like two two or three times as a heavyweight. I went and looked it up. I just did a, a, a and I posted it in the comments. I didn't do a video on it. But yeah, Yusick's been knocked down. So if he can get knocked down as a cruiserweight, by a cruiserweight, Deontay Wilder, who by far probably has the most, the biggest punch of this era, although Aaron would say next to Tyson Fury, I don't think so. I think Deontay Wilder hits harder. But Tyson Fury can crack. But Deont you're telling me Deontay Wilder can't put down Yusick when Yusick got put down by a cruiserweight? So we just need to... To give that man some credit, man, you know, we gotta give him, gotta give him credit, man. It was a, uh, it was, it was, it's just like I said, mind-boggling. And some would say in two out of the two or three fights, Wilder won. You know, if people want to look into it, you know, I'm not saying that. You know who won those? The first fight was a draw. The last two, Fury won. I mean, what am I arguing? That's that's the outcome, right? It is what it is. It's just so annoying, man. You know. When you, when you talk about the front foot counterpuncher, right? A front foot counterpuncher. Normally the, front, the guy on the front foot is the aggressor, right? But that's one of the rarest fighting styles that have been employed in boxing. And it's very hard to get somebody for sparring because most fighters have never fought against the style before facing Yusick. Okay, because Yusick is a front foot counterpuncher. That is odd. Normally, the counterpuncher is stepping back, or he's making you miss, or he's more in defensive mode, and you being the aggressor, and he bing, 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 bing. Yusick is a front foot counterpuncher. Let me tell you, it's hard to catch them clean, if at all. And that's what you see happening with Yusick. It's hard to catch them clean, if at all. That constant front foot pressure makes his opponent work for three minutes of every round. Slick, fast punches from unusual angles. That's all Lomachenko Yusik, okay? From those crazy-ass angles and constantly moves around his opponent. That is Yusik. In and out, angles. Sometimes he doesn't even hit you. He'll just slide in, bump you, come out, play around, hand up and down, up jab, shoot the left, come around, step around, hook, bang to the body. You, you never know what the hell's going on with Yusik. You just don't know. You, you, it's like you're in a damn tornado, man. With the, the, you see, then he got the damn Ukrainian rabbit foot on top of his head, right? It's just tough, man. 
But those slick fast punches from those angles, man, it's just hard. And Wilder, who's, I think technically Wilder is pretty sound. But some would say compared to Usyk, he's technically poor when compared to Usyk. And when you're talking about world-class heavyweight standards. Some would say because of that, Wilder could be bamboozled from start to finish. Because Usyk's style and his re- and because of Usyk's style and Wilder has a some people would say a relatively lack of fight pace and engine that probably takes him about three rounds to make his mark before physically Wilder just you know taps out and is in the weeds. And and I don't know. I think he's getting better. I don't know it takes about three rounds for Wilder. You know, Wilder, it doesn't take that long. Now, if he's in there with a guy who's making him think and and someone like Yusek, who's a front foot counterpuncher, which Wilder's never faced a front foot counterpuncher, you know, that could be something that I hope, like, I'm just coming up with this shit, okay? But this is what I'm seeing. But I would hope Malik Scott, who I don't think is a good addition to Wilder's team, because... I just think he's trying to turn a lion into a pussycat. But we'll find out. But if Malik Scott's not seeing this, because he has his boxing brain, right? He knew what to do here, but couldn't put it out physically, according to Wilder. And now Malik Scott's taking what he has here, and Wilder can put it out physically. So now they had a perfect heavyweight boxer. According to Wilder and, and Scott, that's what, they, that's what they said. Okay? Those are my words. Those are their words, okay? But we'll... But it's hard to say, like a man like Wilder who has an equalizer, man, it's, it's hard to say that Wilder just won't be able to get off, man. Because if you look in the second fight with Ortiz, he couldn't near land on him because of Ortiz's good boxing skill, controlling the distance, and techniques. And Ortiz's hands aren't super fast, but not super slow. His feet aren't really fast. His reaction and stuff like that isn't really fast or slow. Ruiz is probably... Average, above average, I'm talking about Ortiz, Ortiz. It's average or above average when it comes to speed and everything, but he has awareness, technically sound. So he doesn't need to exert a lot of energy and unnecessary movement because everything is done strategically to put you at a end the line of fire, to set traps, okay? But once Wilder got, he, he, he had the patience, and once he had the opportunity and he saw that opening, Wilder let his shot go. Wilder has quick hands, long reach and quick hands with power. Something else people, I think, don't realize. Wilder has super quick hands. And when he lets that right hand go, it goes quick. But once he landed that equalizer on a guy like Luis Ortiz, you know, he was out of there. And for, for us to say landing on Yusik, who's technically better than Ortiz, has fast hands, feet, and better reaction, they're saying that Yusik can be twice the task of Ortiz, and 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 I don't necessarily d- disagree with that. However, I still think Usyk is going to present opportunities for Water to catch him. And when Water does, it doesn't matter if Usyk's twice the task than Ortiz was. Usyk is going to be getting hit twice, three times as hard as what he got hit by goddamn AJ, and by the cruiserweight probably six times as hard. And Yusei is going to go down two, three, four, five, six times as fast as he went down when he got dropped in those fights as a cruiserweight. And he will not get up if Wilder touches him. Okay? Now, I'm not Wilder biased. This is just, look at the knockout ratio. Look at what Wilder has done to big men, big-ass heavyweights. He's going to catch you. And, and I think you, and I'll be honest, I think Yusei is, you know, I call him Otter Xander because he swims and for like five hours he walks on his hands and, he got the damn Ukrainian rabbit foot on his head. Yusik is in shape. The way he turned up, man, after round nine with AJ, crazy. So he's got the engine definitely to stress water, but, you know, he's going to, I don't think he's just going to be, you know, on that front foot looking to be on the front foot and counter punch because he's going to, he knows and his team's going to have to know, got to watch out for Deontay Water. Now, Deontay Water can't really fight on the back foot. He couldn't. But who knows what Malik Scott's worked on with him. But I just think it's a very competitive fight. If you're looking at skill-wise, technique, all those intangibles, you've got to give that to Yusik. But if you're a betting man over 12 rounds, 
I don't think anyone's comfortable putting their money on Usyk to beat Wilder. I don't think so. Because Wilder's got something special. Now, we're going to see how he looks against Hellenius because Wilder and Usyk is not necessarily a foregone conclusion. Okay, Wilder has to get through Hellenius. That's not an easy task. But we'll see, man. We'll see. But I just think it'll be the cherry on top if Wilder gets through Hellenius. Gets to fight with Usyk because Usyk doesn't want, doesn't want to play Tyson Fury's game. Look, Usyk doesn't like Tyson Fury insulting him, cussing at him, calling him a, a sausage, a bum, a this, a, a middleweight, a, 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 and then just a weirdo. All kind of stuff Tyson Fury's called Usyk. We know Tyson Fury is crazy, you know. A lot of his stuff he does is just to keep his name out there in the media. But Usyk doesn't respect that. So I think Usyk definitely is going to be he's going to be at Waters' fight. That's a fact. That's what's supposed to happen. And he's called Water out. So Usyk's not going to say that to play games. He's going to fight Water. And Water's going to be ready. And I think it'll be the cherry on top for that fight to happen and Water knock him out and get those belts. Now, that's what I'm saying. But you know who else said it? And the reason why this video is Bob Arum. Bob Arum is going on record picking Water to knock him out and for Water to become the unified heavyweight champion. Because he knows. Crazy, man. Crazy, man. That is crazy, man. You know, Usyk is simply top of the tree, man. And, uh, you know, when you're at the top of the tree, man, you fall hard and um, you get hit by water, you're going you're gonna to come down. But I don't know. I think you got to trade punches with Wilder to win. And I just don't think Usyk is going to want to do that, man. You know, because Usyk's a fantastic fighter, but Wilder, he never fails to land. Think about that. Wilder never fails to land. You can't have the work rate of a Usyk without getting hit. It just doesn't happen that way. You know, we don't notice as much as he takes them into the stride at, at, at cruiserweight and at heavyweight. He's very careful to leave his work rate until he feels his opposition is tired enough that Usyk turns up the pace, right? And when he turns it up, he becomes more dangerous. But you've got to understand, he had to go with a high work rate against a guy like AJ to keep AJ off of him. And unlike AJ, Wilder has that power to the final bell, and Usyk is eventually going to get hit. And Usyk's going to have to have a, a high work rate to keep Deontay Wilder off him. He's going to have to. But when you let your hands go a lot, it creates openings. And Wilder is a guy like Terrence Crawford, fights with his eyes. If you watch Deontay Wilder, his eyes are like this when he's fighting, and he's watching you. You watch Terrence Crawford, his eyes are like this when he's watching you. That's why I picked Crawford to beat Spence, I'm picking Wilder to beat Usyk. Okay? It's just, uh, but Crawford and Spence is 50-50. I'm just picking someone in case you want to chop up my pinky toe. But with Wilder, man, if he does his homework, he can he can stifle the early rounds, man, with his jab and force Usyk into high work rate mode and then pick him off. So so we'll see, man. We'll see. Usyk's a natural-born winner, but so is Wilder, man. So we're going to find out, man. I mean, I, I think the missile's going to land. I do. Uh, it's, it's not, it's not. If is when, and Yusuf is going to be going night night, man. But anyway, I'll leave it as that. We'll see what happens. But Bob Arum picking water, and I think he's gen, uh, sincere. He's sincere, and I think we are. Uh, if we don't listen to anyone else, as far as their opinion on fights, I think this is an opportunity or a time where we need to at least hear the old man out because. He knows. He's not saying Wilder hits harder than Ernie Shavers. He's not saying Wilder hits harder than George Foreman. What he's saying is Wilder hits hard enough for one shot to where if he can put Fury down and almost get Fury out of there, some would say he got him out of there. If he catches Usyk with that, who's been down by cruiserweights, there's no way in the world he's going to be able to stand up to that, especially if he can get twice with that. It's just not going to work. But that being said, respect to Bob Arum, keeping it real. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Leave your comments below. I know the, 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 the audience is kind of split, but just be, be fair about it. Deontay Wilder never fails to land. As you six, so good, so intelligent, um, so technically sound, has so much stamina that he can, he'll be the first to make sure Wilder fails to land. See? Wilder has never failed to land. Is Usyk going to be the guy who makes Wilder fail to land that big shot and defeats Wilder over 12 rounds or by KO, some say? 
That's what I want to know. I'm picking Wilder like Bob Arum. That being said, shout out to the veterans. Appreciate all, all the support. Everybody across all the continents. Seems like we got people from all over the world. So I'm going to shout out all the continents. Y'all keep cool. I'm in the breeze.